Hey everybody, I want to do a really quick review on this knife here. I got this knife on the secondary market and oh my goodness. I had the carbon fiber version of this, an M390, and I think I had the 204P version as well. And the one thing I didn't like about the carbon fiber version was that it wasn't open construction back here. Or there was no place to really put a lanyard. But this one came up on the secondary market and I had to grab it. It was a really good deal. And so I picked it up and this has, check that out, 20 CV. This is CPM 20 CV steel on that. This is of course the 562 black by zero tolerance. So let's check this out real quick. Get the measurements, one, two, three, three and a half inches of that CPM 20 CV on that slicer blade there. That hinderer slicer blade, that thing's amazing. This knife, I'm telling you, if you like ZTs and you've never tried one of these, and if you like any of their flippers, I don't think I can do it with that. I think that's a stop. Oh, that's the first time that ever happened. All right, let's check out the handle here. This, the blade on this thing is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, about five inches of handle, three and a half inches of blade. This thing just fits perfectly in my hand. And just thin across the back, it's not super light or anything, but look, you got open construction. You're gonna have left, right, tip up carry. You can flip that deep pocket clip around there. Check that bad boy out. And the runs on bearings, of course, and it's just the detent on these things and the action on these things is perfect. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to sell this one. So some things have fallen through and it will be on the sales list very soon so this is the black g10 on this very kind of a smoothed out but grippy enough to keep your text to textured enough to keep your grip on this thing super easy on that lock it's got that chamfered lock thing there so it gives you a chance to grab it and close it with no problems action super smooth it's got the lock bar insert check out the lock up on that that's awesome and this thing is just gonna last you forever. The cool thing about this one is that if I was gonna keep it, I would I would use it because it's a it's while well, it's an excellent shape, it's a user type of knife because of the condition. If I had bought this new, there's no way, well, almost no way that I would use it. All right, check that out. Open construction. Let's get a weight on this thing. Why is this interview going? Interview. Why is this review going so fast? Am I speaking too quickly? That might be it. All right, so let's weigh this thing. What we have is 5.6 ounces. So it's a little bit hefty, but it's thin enough to where it'll fit in your pocket nicely and you don't have to worry about it. And when you pull it out, it's got amazing steel on it. You know, all of the 562s have some amazing steel. They all have that M390 version, whether it's the European version, M390 or 20 CV, I think that's the American version of M390. All amazing steel. All right, speaking of Europeans, let's get this in here. 159 grams. Now, the thing is, when you have one of these, you brand new, these things are about 230, 240 bucks. You can get these on, and this is the first one I've seen in this kind of condition on the secondary market, so. But here is an actual Hinderer XM18. And you can see the similarities in that, can't you? Look at the way that the flipper goes up. Just the, the shape of everything. It's very similar. I'm telling you what. Oh, that hinderer. Oh, my goodness. I was going to tell you what, but I don't know if I can tell you what anymore. This thing is pretty awesome. Oh, me. All right. Anyway, so if you don't want to spend 400 bucks on a hinderer, you can find one of these. You can find the, the carbon fiber one. You can find the regular G10 one or this one. You can usually get them in the 170 range, 180 range pretty easily. And and to be honest, well, the steel is S35V on my hinderer. So you're not going to beat the steel on the ZT version. Now, the construction is a little bit different. Now, they ha do have the new thinner hinderers that just came out. But you can still see what, how similar these things are across the back, and especially the blade shape, that slicer blade. 
I would actually love to put that blade on this one. This one, blade seems a little bit thin for this knife to me. I'm not saying anything about Mr. Hinderer. He makes awesome knives. And if I ever get some more money, I might have to get me another one. I would really like one of those ones without the flipper just to try it. All right, so back to this knife. So you see where the inspiration comes from. And you can hear the similarities in their in their build and the way they flick open and stuff. Check that out, check that out, check that out. And this one actually runs on washers. So you're, actually, you're upgrading your, your opening system with this thing. Stick a nice lanyard on that bad boy, you're good to go. All right, well that's just a quick review of this one. I just wanted to check it out before I sell it. When y'all look at this, I think I've done the 562 carbon fiber review. I didn't have a hinder at that time to kind of give you an idea what you're looking at. So if you want a hinderer idea, you don't want to spend hinderer money, you're not going to miss out a whole on a whole lot, except for maybe the little horsey there. But that's about it. This is a great knife and you're not going to be unhappy. If you like ZTs, you like flippers, and you just want the smoothest flipper you ever felt. You're not gonna find a smoother flip. Well, you might. I'm gonna say nothing, Mr. Freeman's 451. But anyways, excellent knife. Check it out. All right, this is a really short review. I don't know how it got so short. I don't know what happened. I just talked too fast. I guess it's too early in the morning. Energy drink is kicking in and I need sleep. Get over to Facebook, talk about this knife, talk about this knife, talk about any knife you want to over there. Lots of cool people. I think that's about it. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I just want to do a quick addendum to this video. It's actually done a couple weeks later. I've got a couple of these videos that are on back order here. But so I managed to unload that black one, that 562 black, and then for just a few bucks more, I was able to find this one. Oh, <laughs> this is the one I wanted all along. This is the 562 orange black. And it's got basically the same steel. It's got 204P instead of the 20CV, but you know, they're all related, M390. And oh my goodness. And this is even better than that black one for just a couple bucks more than I sold it for. I found this on a good deal. A buddy of mine actually found this. And I thought these were sold out. And he found this brand new in box, cheaper than they've been going for on the secondary market. And trust me, because I've been looking for them on the secondary market. And usually they're kind of outrageous, but he found this for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, BR. Yeah. Dog. Okay, we're not, I don't say dog, but you know what I'm saying. But I appreciate it. This knife is awesome. <laughs> this, knife, this knife is even better than the black one. And for the deal I got on it, compared to what I sold it for. Just amazing, just exciting, exciting. And it feels like it wants to be used, but we'll see, you know, you know how that goes with me. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Sometimes, you know, just the way it goes. All right, now I will talk to y'all later.